What we got going on? What we got going on? We got Redline Mobile here again in the building. You already know, taking care of the wife's car. Uh, today, changing out all the mounts. One, two, there's a bunch of them. Car has a little knocking when she drives off. You can hear like boom. So we don't know if it's the engine or the transmission. I think it's a transmission mount, but thanks to Rock Auto, we're just gonna change all of that out. So shout out again, Redline Mobile, check them out. Mobile Mechanic. Y'all already see, done a lot of work on my cars. He dropped the EG, he dropped the F85. And by y'all reading the title of this video, we got a new car. So I'm gonna get right into it and show y'all the new car. Ryan Little. <laughs> TL type S by the way and I'm gonna just get right into the first question I know y'all gonna ask me where's the FA5 Chris or Alice <laughs> what happened to the FA5 the FA5 is now with oh they go with FA5 why you gotta drive like that speaking of the devil they go with FA5 <laughs> anyway Chris what happened to the FA5 well the FA5 now belongs to my good friend Matthew Armageddon, that's what I call him. Now, uh, you guys know Matthew is on the channel, always working on my cars, helping me out. He's a Honda mechanic. So, who better to give the car to than Matthew? Reason, let's go to the reason. All right, I pulled off the road. So, reasons why I sold the FA5 before I get back on the road and give you guys a nice drive of the car. Number one, it was too small. I bought the car before my daughter was born and it was perfect. After a couple months, you know, she got older, we are able to start doing, you know, bringing her out, we started bringing her out. I noticed that for long trips, my wife would be almost a part of the front <laughs> of the dash of the car. That she literally would have no space. You know what I'm saying? So I that's number one. Number two, actually, that's actually the own reason because I have no other reason to get rid of the car. I needed more space. So what do I do? I had to sell the car, but I knew people wouldn't know the value of the car because the paint was bad and the the looks of the car was getting there. But I was the car ran perfect. That FA5 ran perfect. You guys see me do everything to that car engine mount transmission all that everything on that car is perfect the car rides smooth everything works no issue i just wanted to make sure that that's how i work i go on maintenance and and you know like making sure the engine transmission all that stuff is what matters to me before you get to dents and paints and all that stuff so basically matt just has to paint the car that's it matt just has to paint the car and it's perfect now if he wants to start adding power mods and stuff to it, all the car only has an intake and a street to him. So it moves, it moves better than the stock FA5, I tell you that much, but it's still basically stock. So um, it's up to Matt to do what he wants from there on, but for sure he will be painting the car. The car still will be on the channel. Matt's my boy. Matt will be working on this car also. And that's that. So with that out of the way, you are in my 2008 Acura TL. Type S it is a six speed manual. First off, I'm gonna go through the list of what's done to the car from the previous owner. The car has a lightweight flywheel, new clutch, uh, endless RPM, full exhaust, I believe. I think it's a full exhaust. The drill and slotted uh, rotors. It's also lowered on True Heart coilovers, so that's a plus. I don't have to go ahead and get coilovers again. Same coilovers that were also on the FA5. The car came with 19 inch wheels but they came with an issue. I'm also gonna throw in some clips there and then from uh, how the car came. If you guys can see this, but the silver trim that's usually right here, it was painted red. I just repainted it black because that red was tacky in my opinion. Um, uh, you guys saw the uh, T 
TSX, no not TSX, RSX wheels that I just put on the car. That was from me, um, 25 millimeter spacers all around. So I put those spacers on the car because I got some TL stocks and I didn't like them, they were painted black. And then I went and got these, but I'm still in the search for some TL type S waffles. I might have a trade, somebody wants to trade me for these, but I don't know what it is with the, everybody having that road rash around the rim, like around the entire wheel. I don't know how people do that. So that's all that's really done to the car. The car is, um, oh, what is going on here? The car is completely stock other than the, the full exhaust. So I guess not completely stock, let me take that back. <laughs> the car has a full exhaust. It's quiet, but it sounds good. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get some rips for you guys. Second gear. guys a first gear pull like I said the car has a full exhaust but it's quiet so I don't know if you guys are actually even hearing that but yeah that was first gear was useless <laughs> yeah man for a 2008 Acura this car drives smooth yo like comfortable leather sunroof it got a little into like a nav system right here don't really sure how up to date it is but it's there it's spacious like i am extremely comfortable in this car sometimes in this car to um west palm beach a couple times and then it is extremely comfortable and it's only a 2008 that's what's crazy like it's a 08 and they made these cars perfect do like a little third gear right here thing just gets up and goes yo it is a j35 which is a 3.5 v6 single overhead cam so it's not like beefy like the vqs where the vqs have the dual overhead cam i wish i wish 0.5 v6 uh, i believe they come with like 290 from factory or something like that so probably making to the wheels maybe like 270 260 or something like that to the wheels car does have a hundred and seventy thousand miles on it so we don't know how many of that how much of that power that's been gone already give you guys a close-up like i said i put 25 millimeter spacer because the uh, rsx type s wheels cannot clear the bembo brakes so i was going to do the spacer anyway because you guys know already i like the flush look um things that i do have for this car i do have the a spec lip I just have to install it, which it's a whole mission because the front bumper has to completely come off. Um, uh, hopefully this is a type S bumper, so they should have like indentations. I got to drill a 10 millimeter hole like through the front to attach the other one. It's like a whole mission. There's a plenty of videos on it. I'm going to have to watch a video on how to install it. Let me give you guys a look on the inside of the car. So this is the inside of the car um dash is cracked unfortunately that's why that is there that is a normal issue with these cars but no tears in the leather that's another issue in these cars but luckily i think that's all that i have on um, the shift boot was like cracking so i just got rid of it and then it's a whole mission to get this thing off also so i got this off i painted it black Look at that, it's already marking up. Oh well, I painted it black because it used to be red. Here we go with the back seat. Back seat also clean. Back seats are usually always clean. They don't tend to crack as much as the fronts do. You guys know these aren't real leather. These cars come with pleather basically. The car also came with a, I guess he, he left it in there, which I'm glad because I'm not really a music guy, but the car, came with a what like a 110 or something like that this thing is nice i'm not gonna lie i was never a sound guy before but i can't <laughs> I, I love it now so i mean this is a daily of course we're still gonna do nice things to the car we're still gonna get some nice wheels we're still gonna do i mean that's the reason why the sticker's still on the back of the car these cars do have honda for them um the 2000 what 
2004 to 2006 or something like that of these cars they they need a jumper or something like that to put honda in. but the 07 and the 08 type s's they honda the bolts right up just like how i did in my fa5 so honda the intake car has full exhaust already um do these cars i don't even know how the headers like i'm learning all about the j series and everything i've only know about k and b and d series and h and f series now i'm owning my first v6 ever i've owned four cylinders and a v8 this one's the first v6 so i'm actually really happy with the purchase man the um, family fits perfect in it wife is comfortable baby is comfortable car is still manual i get the shift gears while everybody is comfortable so it's a win-win please like comment and subscribe guys really appreciate it really appreciate you guys rocking out with me this far i hope i don't get a lot of you guys upset that that was liking the fa5 content the fa5 is still gonna be on the channel it's my friend owns it the guy who worked on the fa5 owns it so it's still gonna be on the channel and he has a youtube also so if he decides to continue with it definitely it will be on his channel also so that fa5 is still gonna live on he has plans for it so the car will still be there so still look forward to that i'm still doing reviews so um let me know guys leave a comment if you're enjoying the review videos i'm enjoying them because i get to drive nice cars so i'm enjoying them let me know if you guys are enjoying it i'm gonna end the video here i'm gonna see how far my cousin got with the with my wife's camry and I, eh, i'll show you how far the guy got we'll see <laughs> that one is gone all right so that one's gone that one's gone and he's replacing that one right there let me show you guys right quick right there so that's the transmit no that's the engine mount so the transmission mount one is the one that was in the front right uh no it's like you gotta take off this wheel too i think the, i think this one is the transmission one because it's bolted in the front uh, so somewhere is the transmission mount i don't know where that's that one front, is that's the front mount in the front that's yeah that's the front the mount transmission mount. i think i gotta take off that with you. Oh, okay so transmission mount should be somewhere over here so so that's how far he got man doing quick work already putting on, already putting on the engine mount on that side look at that gone and then here's the new one so Shout out again to Redline Mobile. Man, always coming through. Wife car should be driving good. Can't wait to drive it. Feel that knocking noise go away. Because now I got to drive off mad slow for it not to like, you know, like when the light turns green, you just hit the gas. Can't do that. It'll just boom. I'm like, damn. That wasn't, yeah. This one was just rocking. It could have just been this one too. This one was just rocking left and right, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it could have been this one too. Either way, we don't know which one it is. So we're changing all of them. So. Like I said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I just walked into my dad's car and probably broke it. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. We got a couple reviews coming up. Actually, his car is up for review. So look out for that one. We bought a, that car is fun. So <laughs> that car is up for review. And it's, huh? No, nah, you can wait. You guys, you gotta wait for the next video. The next video, y'all will see his car. You guys, if you guys are following the channel, you know his car. Because I've parked up next to his car a lot on this channel. So if you follow the video, you know his car. That's my boy's car. Y'all see it in the next video. Um, you guys be good. Enjoy y'all weekend. Enjoy y'all week. Whenever this video drop. Peace.